really cost, cost effective, efficient changes can be made while continuing to allow states to maintain their mascots and their school song and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think the real efficiencies can be found in, the, in how the schools manage. Uh, and, and I think that's, in fact, I know that's one of the things that, that Knowledge Works is, is looking at, as, I, as I've asked them to, you know, to scrutinize the system. Um, uh, you'd get a lot of pushback from that. Well, but it's, it's quite a frankly, local third, governments yeah. ought to do the same local governments. I mean, you know, we need to, we need to look at how local governments are, are, are organized as well. What about privatization? Are there any opportunities for savings there? Because, uh, like, uh, Visage has uh, suggested privatizing the Economic Development uh, Office, and then uh, your predecessor, and then your opponent four years ago wanted to sell the Ohio Turnpike, which seemed kind of bold at the time, but I, I see Indiana sold their Turnpike, and, and uh, Chicago sold the Skyway, or at least leasing, is leasing it. Are there, uh, and uh, Mayor Daley is a Democrat, too, yeah. so uh, yeah. he went for that. I, yeah. are, are there opportunities that Ohio should be looking at? Because if you privatize it, you get it off, you know, the ob general obligation. Yeah, the, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, the turnpike issue is, 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 a, is an interesting, interesting one because, uh, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful asset. Okay, uh, and, and it is the best maintained highway system in Ohio, I think. It's the safest. Uh, and they put, you know, they put money into that. Um, what, what happens is, though, that you, you get money up front, and then for 80 or 100 years, you lose, you know, you lose control of that. And, and um, uh, whoever, whoever the purchaser is, uh, in order for it to to really yield anything uh, of significant value, they want the opportunity then to make decisions regarding rating, you know, tolling and so on and so forth. And, and um, uh, uh, you know, they want a non-compete clause so that the state could do nothing going forward that may well, make I was thinking more likely. of a lease than a sale, like a 50-year lease or something, and then you you can write it into the lease, the conditions of the lease. But, you, know. you, can, you can do that. Two things. Right now, it would not, it would not be a good time to do it because of the economy, and you would probably get you know, a, small, um, a small fraction of what you could get if it, was, if it was being done in more robust economic times. Um, uh, but, uh, it, it, I mean, this is how I feel about tolling and, and those those kinds of issues. I, th I think the public would accept it in new con with, with new construction. I think, I think the public would, would not likely um, support it if it was taking an existing structure and, and, um, and turning it over. Now, in terms of, in terms of the, um, the Department of um, Development, uh, I mean, his public, much of what he says about that really puzzles me and troubles me. Um, first of all, I don't know that he's really analyzed it in a way that he can uh, argue for his position. A few other states have done it. Michigan's done it, Indiana's done it, Nevada's done it, Florida's done it. Um, and if you look at these states that have done it, uh, most of them have had some some problems grow out of it, uh, conflict of interest, charges, and um, none of those states that I mentioned is doing it as well as Ohio is doing. Michigan is doing much worse. Indiana is certainly not doing any better. Uh, Nevada has the highest unemployment rate in, in America, and Florida has certainly in, they're in the, near, the, near the highest uh, in America. And so I don't know that there's any any valid data to indicate that it actually um, is effective. But the way he's talked about going about it also troubles me. He wants to set up a private, not-for-profit uh, operation. He wants, to, he wants to identify 12 corporate CEOs um, to 
oversee it. He says that they would they would have no caps on their salary. Uh, we'll pay them what they're worth. Is, is how he's referred to that. And he said they would get bonuses, uh, but the bonuses would not be made public. They actually said that. Um, and and uh, I mean that sounds a lot like Wall Street behavior to me. And I've said that. Um, it, it, it's just it, it's just. You know, I think it, well, let's put it this way. A CEO's primary fiduciary obligation is to their investors, and not to the people of Ohio or the state of Ohio. And so I don't know how a CEO could really function without having a serious conflict of interest. What if there's a company that wants to come in and set up a competing operation against um, one of the individuals that's on that on on that board, um, and, and so I think, can we do better? Should we be willing to look at, at everything, analyze it, and at, at least you know? The older I've gotten, the more I've come to believe that you ought to be willing to think of, of just any idea that's brought to you. You ought to be willing to consider it. You may end up rejecting it. But you've got to be able to consider it. So, you know, is it, is it reasonable cons to consider these things? Of course, but they ought to be they ought to be thought out, and they ought to be justified, and, and, and all the potential problems ought to be identified. And and I don't I don't know that that's been done in this case. We have time for one more. Somebody has something. A follow up on Roger's question about you know the schools and you know possibly consolidating schools. And, you know the Ohio School Facilities Commission. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're you're to the point now where most of the you know the districts that are being considered now are you know uh, about a forty percent state share, yeah, and sixty yeah. percent. Yeah. And at least in our area, those things are those, those issues are going down, you know, quickly. You mean in terms of, of the uh, voter? I mean voter approval. Yeah. I mean, sure. it's you know sure. the local sure. amount. You know. Yeah. 2080 was yeah. kind of a no-brainer sure. for voters, yeah. uh, but That's now you're mean. kind of in that zone where sure. the effectiveness of that money is, you know, that state match is kind of losing sure. some of its luster. What's the future? You know, what's what's the future of the Ohio School Facilities Commission and and, and you know, getting new school buildings in these areas where they're desperately needed, but yeah. for formula reasons they aren't yeah. quite there. And would you ever, you know, would do you use that as kind of a, 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 a carrot to encourage consolidation where you've got districts? You know, I think we really missed an opportunity at the beginning of this school construction effort to to do what you're suggesting. Uh, I think we would have, I mean, we built a lot of schools in Ohio, not just, I mean, you know, a lot of schools were, were built certainly under, uh, under uh, Governor Taft, and we've continued that and you know and we've got some really nice schools built around our state um, I think um, it, it's almost like the horse is out of the barn when it comes to that particular issue I it, it's interesting I used to talk when I was a member of Congress about uh, the feasibility of, of you know of using that resource as a way to encourage some changes that that are needed. Um, Governor, I can show you a school in Portage County that was built with a 10% local, 90% state. Yeah. It's a beautiful school. It's closed because they had no money to operate it. Yeah. Where is that? Wyndham, Ohio. Wyndham. Yeah. Right next to Ravenna Arsenal. It's a gorgeous school. Yeah. They operated it for two years. Where are the Where are the students attending now? They're in other facilities within the district, yeah. they couldn't operate this. So they did. Did they build new buildings without closing other buildings? They tore down one building, built a new building, and rehabbed a couple of others. Yeah. And the new building was uh, too expensive yeah. to operate. Yeah. Well, that's very poor. Didn't planning. happen on your watch, by the way. No, but anyway, no, yeah. that's very poor planning. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, uh, but it's, it's what's been going on with these. Uh, yeah. And now communities are using schools as bargaining chips against neighboring communities. Yeah. Uh, which is building up resentment. Yeah. We are at the end of our time. Uh, real quickly, a yes or no 
question for you. Are you going to grant clemency to Michael Benji if uh, he's facing execution? Or? Um, we haven't we haven't seen anything publicly about that, but um, but I will not. Do Okay. Can we get a picture of uh, sure. Doc and Ted with the Thank you all.